Hey guys, um, I've been thinking and thinking for, I guess I should just say hello to you. I've been thinking for about four days, ever since I made this video on relativity about the fifth dimension. Somehow it just came into my mind and part of me was even confused as to what, what it was that was happening. <clears throat> I'm not confused anymore. The, the first dimension is uh, a straight line. There's the zero, zero dimension is a point that exists in, a, in an area, and it's just a single point. Then the first dimension is when two points connect with a line. First dimension. The second dimension is when two lines intersect each other and create two dimensions. So you have this and then another line intersecting it. And then the third dimension where we exist is when those two lines are bent and so that they touch so that it creates a three-dimensional experience. The lines form three dimensions and something can exist in one line. It's as if we travel from one area of the second dimension to the other without actually going anywhere because we're in the third dimension. And that kind of happens throughout these this dimensional experience. Like you will, you will do something in the second dimension that's amazing without realizing it. I think the same thing happens in the third dimension. Like we're doing things in the third dimension without that's amazing in other dimensions that we don't realize that is <clears throat> things that you can see happen in other dimensions that you don't see happen in the third dimension. It's all the time. So the third dimension is is. When the, when the second dimension is bent upon itself. The fourth dimension is time, duration. The amount of, it's a straight line, and it is amount of time that it takes you to travel. I suppose through the third dimension, you travel on a, on a line of duration at any time. Like if I go like this, there was time, there was the fourth dimensionally, I was moving through the fourth dimension. Everything, we're always moving through the fourth dimension like independent of all other dimensions well not always okay because there are times when we're not traveling through the fourth dimension I think there are times when duration is collapsed upon itself and we're just having an experience and maybe that's met true meditation why people can live to be 150 years old or you know you just spend your life meditating and your body doesn't age because time slows down I think that we can collapse time upon itself. Whenever we want. I think that when we collapse time, when we slow time down internally, that the things around us happen faster. The fifth dimension is a dimension of choice, a realm of possibility. It's everything that can be is it exists together your your possible futures are infinite they are a wave of infinite possibility and that is the fifth dimension and we travel through this duration of time the fourth dimension and arrive at one of the possibilities in the fifth dimension which then becomes our perspective third dimension it is the, it, it is it has traveled it has become connected i believe that all possibility in the fifth dimension is attainable at any time because it, it's choice. The, the fifth dimension is choice. It, we make a choice. Everything we do, every experience that happens to us in our existence is a choice that we make. Every single thing that happens, whether we realize it or not, when we're, when we're ignorant children, we're making choices without realizing it. And so we exist in this third dimension choosing possible futures without realizing it. But once you realize it, that there are infinite possibilities at every moment. Everything is possible right now. And it always will be. That doesn't stop. And our words are what project us. Our thoughts are what project us into the fifth dimension. But even more powerful, I'm sorry, even more powerful are our words. We are wizards casting spells with our words. I'm not sorry. My body was nervous because it's a deep thought. But our words are projecting us into the fifth dimension powerfully and fast. And the more people that are aware of our words, the faster that our fifth dimensional experience appears. 
It's not about age, the fifth dimension. It's a possible future. It's not about how old you are. The age is a duration, fourth dimensional illusion. Fifth dimensional, everything is possible. And our, our, our words will pull things out of the fifth dimension to us, and we will perceive it in the third dimension. Our words have power, depend, have control of a certain amount of the gravity that functions in this dimension. Our words, our thoughts and our words, but our words are the powerful things. They, the more people that hear us speak, the more thought mass our words accumulate, the more honest that we are, the more powerful our words become. We can, we, can per, we can cleanse our mind of this third dimensional distraction by speaking the truth about it all the time and understand truly the fifth dimension, bring things truly to us from the fifth dimension. Take the possible futures that we want to exist. Say they are existing. It is real. I have $100,000. We are healing. Humanity is evolving and violence is ceasing. All these things are possible futures for humanity. They're all fifth dimensional choices. We can make it anything we want it to make. So what I'm doing is I'm getting on the internet and speaking so that thousands of people hear me speak and saying what I want to be the fifth dimensional, my fifth dimensional experience. I want to lay it out as best I can to help people as best I can without it turning into a cult or a socialist republic. Or even if that's a bad thing, I don't know. I don't really know the specific things, but I don't want it to become an Orwellian thing where we are ignorant. People are creative beings by nature. It's creativity that's gotten us to where we are. It's creativity that's evolved us. We, the, whoever invented the wheel was a creative person, was an artist. Whoever built levers, levers, whatever you call them, they were a creative person. This now is a creative experience for me. It's like art. But I'm artistically laying out a future that I want for humanity because it's what I see as the best possible thing. No, you know, organized warfare is a thing of the past. There is no organized warfare now. Well, people get frustrated in deep moments. In truth, it, the world is anything, that, this experience is anything that we want it to be. If you say he's not listening, he's not listening. You're, you're creating it, Dominic. You can tell him that he is listening, even though it feels weird, and then he'll listen to you. But the frustration is your own. Sorry to get into it. It was so intense, though. All right. This gets deeper from here. See you.